NBN News with Natasha Bayersdorf and Paul Lobb. Tonight, the body of Jill Ma found in a shallow grave while a man's charged with murder and rape. Her distraught husband, Tom, speaks of his loss and the nation's outpouring of grief. I've been really humbled by the support uh, of the Australian public. And a father dead in a car crash after a domestic dispute escalates in Lake Macquarie. He was going probably about 100 kilometres an hour and just slammed straight into the house, no brakes, nothing. Good evening. The mural craze in Curry Curry is continuing to grow, with more than 50 colourful pieces now brightening the town. And with plans to bump up that number, there are hopes Curry will one day be crowned the nation's largest mural town. It all started in 2003. Curry Curry wanted something unique to attract more tourists, so they came up with a very colourful idea of painting murals. Now there are more than 50. There is a town in Tasmania that has more than 70 murals. Um, that's why we claim to be Australia's largest mainland uh, mural town. Being the town's mascot, the three kookaburras were the first to start the trend. While this mural is from a famous photograph taken during bushfires in Cessnock in 2002. It was even published worldwide, including in the London Times. It's quite a famous photo, and the artist sort of duplicated that and painted it onto the rear wall of the, of the um, hotel. And there are plans to paint even more. So are we going to um, get enough to, to beat the Tasmanian guys? Oh, yes, we'd love to beat the Tasmanians, yeah. All designs are now featured in a new DVD and book, including a story on their history. Amy Ziniak. NBN News.